Gow. Up until December last year, this was my life. There's plenty more sports coming up on the BBC. Travelling the world as a sports presenter and journalist. But then my life changed dramatically. At 45, I suffered a serious stroke and I spent the last few months learning to walk and more significantly, to talk again. Just after Christmas, I got sick. It wasn't COVID, but I had a terrible cough. And then my husband, Jamie, found me collapsed in the bathroom. I was trying to call your name and get you to speak to me and I was just getting nothing back from you. So were you feeling scared? Oh, it was the worst moment of my life. It was especially hard for our daughter, Isabel, as she's only six. She was very upset, but then she was an absolute superstar. She got some cushions for you to put under your head and then passed me my phone to phone an ambulance. Luckily, I got very prompt treatment at my local hospital. Dr. Thomas Payne is one of the consultants. The majority of strokes are caused by a blockage in a blood vessel that supplies the brain. Your stroke was caused by a blood clot which came from the carotid artery in the neck, a tear in the blood vessel due to coughing and a viral infection that you had at the time. And that clot flew up the vessel, causing the stroke on the left side of the brain. It's not unknown for a viral cough to cause a stroke, but it is extremely rare. It was badly affecting my speech and the right side of my body. So I was transferred to a specialist unit at St George's in London to have my clot removed before any further damage. Do you remember what I said to you? I told you to fight. You said that in my ear. Fight for me, fight, fight for Isabel. And I did. Although the procedure was successful, the clot had already damaged the part of my brain associated with speech. I wanted to ask you a simple thing of, are you okay? Oh my goodness. And I was trying to write on the board, but none of the words made sense. It was actually one of the stroke nurses who finally got me to speak by pushing me to get angry. She barracked me and say, come on, find your voice. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, it was like, ah. And it was scratchy and horrible, but it was something. And I got my voice back. Go, go, go ahead. This is too yes. hot. Yes. So. This is what? What are you trying to say? My good vibe. Since then, it's taken months of therapy. I still feel numb down my right side. My sense of taste is gone and I get very tired. But my voice is getting better. She was a thistle sifter and sifted thistles through the thistle sieve. Your determination and your drive for you, for Isabel, for me, your career. I'm hugely proud of what you've achieved. My friends and family have been so supportive, but they don't know what it's like to be me. So I wanted to speak to someone who's gone through the same experience. Nick Hounsfield is a keen surfer and businessman. He had multiple strokes in February 2020. He's spent the last three years working hard to recover. Nature is my therapy, but also you've got to find the lighter side of, of what's going on. At the end of the day, we've got through it. It's very, um, what's the word? It's very, um, <laughs> I've literally forgotten the word. Um, you won't be able to help me either. <laughs> cliche. It is cliche. Like, seize the day. Yeah. Um, I think the main thing is just being really kind to yourself, not rush things. You'll get good again. You won't be the same again, but, but you know, in many ways, you can, you can get better than that. Like Nick, I'm determined to come back as strong as ever. And I want to share my experiences. To try and shine a light on stroke survivors. And if this can help just one person, that would be enough.